The Active Directory directory service has its own database engine, the ESE, or Extensible Storage Engine, which manages the storage of all objects in the Active Directory database. When you understand how the changes that are made to attributes in Active Directory are written to the database, you will understand how data modification affects database performance, database fragmentation, and data integrity. When an administrator changes an object's attributes, or a domain controller receives changes by replication, the ESE captures that change as a transaction. A transaction is a set of changes and the associated metadata. For example, if you change the display name on an object, that change is packaged with metadata about the change, including the new attribute version number, a timestamp, and the server's globally unique identifier, or GUID. Transactions are packaged in an atomic unit. The data modification process has important implications for database performance, database fragmentation, and data integrity. After viewing a simplified version of the data modification process, you will be able to explain how the process relates to each of these areas. A single transaction is written to the database by the following process. A write request occurs when a change is made in Active Directory. The write request initiates a transaction consisting of the requested changes and associated metadata. The ESE writes the transaction to the transaction buffer in memory. The ESE then writes the transaction to a log file, edb.log, which ensures that each transaction is accounted for. After the transaction is safely secured in the log file, it is written from the transaction buffer to the Active Directory database, ntds.dit, on the hard disk. Failures can occur when uncommitted transactions remain in the log file. Upon recovery, the checkpoint file is referenced to determine which transactions in edb.log still need to be written to the ntds.dit. Active Directory compares ntds.dit and edb.log to ensure that the transaction is committed to the database. Finally, the checkpoint file, edb.chk, is updated to note that the transaction has been written to the database. Click any button above to see how the data modification process affects that area. Caching and logging improve database performance. When a transaction is initiated, the ESE loads and caches the data to be modified into memory. This data is buffered in memory and enables the transaction to be written more efficiently because it is not written directly to the disk. Because only the data to be modified is loaded into memory, the memory on the domain controller does not need to accommodate the entire database. When ESE writes the transaction to the log file, it creates a record in the log file. After the record exists, the transaction is confirmed and another transaction can be initiated without waiting for the first transaction to be committed to the database. When a log file reaches 10 megabytes in size, the ESE renames the log file by appending numbers to the file name and then creates a new log file. When all of the transactions in old log files have been committed to the database, Active Directory deletes the log files. The database file, ntds.dit, will continue to grow in response to changes and additions to Active Directory. For this reason, ensure that you have enough disk space on the domain controller to accommodate the Active Directory database file. When data is written to a database, it is written to contiguous sectors on the hard disk. When data is deleted, it leaves scattered areas blank. This is called fragmentation. If data is written to these scattered areas, the performance of the database slows. As a part of the garbage collection process, Active Directory performs an online defragmentation at set intervals, which are 12 hours by default. This process groups the individual blank area so that they can be written to more efficiently. This online defragmentation process improves performance 
by optimizing data storage within the database. It does not decrease the size of the ntds.dit file. To decrease the size of the database, you must perform an offline defragmentation which optimizes storage and creates a new, compacted version of the database. The new, compacted version of the database is current with the log files and checkpoint file to ensure data integrity. The domain controller is not available to Active Directory when you perform an offline defragmentation. Because online defragmentation addresses performance issues, you should perform an offline defragmentation only when you must decrease the size of ntds.dit and you have addressed any problems that might arise by taking the domain controller offline. Transactions, logs, and checkpoints ensure the integrity of the data in the database. This process ensures the integrity of data on a single database. You must also ensure data integrity across replicas of the database. When the change that initiates a transaction is a deletion request, Active Directory uses a special method that ensures that the deletion is propagated to all replicas of Active Directory. Active Directory then moves it to the deleted objects container. There is a delay between the time of the originating deletion and the time that the object is removed from the database. The delay provides an interval during which the originating domain controller can replicate the deletion to other domain controllers in the forest. The delay must be longer than the longest replication latency period in the forest. The tombstone lifetime is 60 days by default. After this period, the deleted objects are marked as expired. During the garbage collection process that runs on each domain controller, expired objects are removed from the database. Be sure to back up each Active Directory partition at least twice during the period that objects are marked for deletion to ensure that you will be able to restore the backed up data. In summary, in this presentation, you have learned how Active Directory commits changes to a database and how Active Directory optimizes data storage.